All right, flat rain mechanic here, and today we are diagnosing a misfire on a Cadillac DeVille um, PO300, or on this particular case, um, I believe we have P0308, which is a cylinder eight misfire. But um, I got the uh, I got the Tech Two scan tool hooked up to this here, and we're actually working on. Uh, looks like we got working on a long one here, a little stretched. Uh, Stretch Deville, but uh, yeah, they got a misfire. I can feel it misfiring, um, but I'm gonna go into uh, this engine data here on the Tech 2 and see if we can look at the misfire monitor to um, actually verify the cylinder. And then um, what I'm gonna also do towards the end of this video is we're gonna switch the um, ignition coils and the spark plugs to determine if any of those have failed. It's an easy way to check them without uh, without any special tools or replacing any parts. So we're going to go ahead and swap them and see if it changes cylinders and then I'll show you on the scan tool here um, if it actually follows that cylinder or not. Um, but uh, Alright so basically let's, uh, let's dive right into this on the scan tool here and see uh, what we got. Good bill. There we go. Powertrain. 4.6 liter. All right. Diagnostic trouble codes. All right. So we got a PO 300, and um, I also had a PO 308 before I cleared it, but. Uh, so let's uh, get out of here and let's look at, but if you got a PO300 and it's not really identifying what cylinder and you have a scan tool, you should be able to monitor the uh, misfires. Sorry about the focus here, I'm not sure why it keeps going in and out. Let me just try cleaning, cleaning my lens real quick here. That'll help a little. Alright, so there you see uh, we got misfire data. So we're going to go into that. Yeah, and as you can see, uh, see cylinder right there just ticking away, tick, 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 tick. Alright, so what we're going to do on this um, North Star engine, this Cadillac 4.6 liter for the misfire, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and swap out the cylinder right ignition coil. To, um, I'll probably just put it to cylinder six, which is a cylinder right next to it. And if you need to figure out the firing order on your um, Cadillac DeVille, I have it right here. Basically, this is the uh, front of the motor. So eight for me is going to be the right front, which are the easy ones to get to, luckily. Um, yeah, so right here would basically be your cooling fan. And then you got your front bank and your rear bank. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and swap the cylinder 8 ignition coil, probably with the cylinder 6. And then we're going to come back here to this um, misfire graph on the scan tool. And we're going to see if that um, see if that misfire changed to the cylinder 7. And if it did, then we know we have a bad coil. But I'm going to go do that and we'll be right back to check it. Alright, so here's what the ignition coils actually look like that I just pulled out of this... Um, Cadillac and if you're wondering I'm sitting in here I would just do this on the hood but I'm sitting in here because it's very loud out there and there's a lot of stuff going on in the shop as you can see there so um but basically so yeah here's a coil on what I usually do is usually around these boots down the bottom you can check for arcing out you'll see like little white traces where it could the spark could have been actually uh, misfiring I didn't see anything physically wrong with these but uh like I said, we're going to swap them, then we're going to come back in and take a look at this misfire um, data on the scan tool, and we're going to see if that's a culprit. But let me go ahead and swap these, and I'll be right back. All right, so we have our ignition coil swapped from cylinder 8 to cylinder 7 to see if this misfire is going to um, change with the swap. 
Um, let's see here, I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up. All right, we've got it fired up here. All right, so we got the ignition coils all swapped over. And to my surprise, um, come on. All right, there we have it. Cylinder eight is still misfiring. All right, so our ignition coil, that tells us our ignition coil is good. And uh, we have something else ca causing this misfire, which I'm very surprised, because honestly, 90% um, of the time, the coil is gonna be the cause of this problem. But um, for the sake of this video, it's probably um, beneficial that the coil was not the problem because now we're going to have to go into a little deeper diagnostic. Now, um, I'm, fortunately, I do have the scan tool here, which not everybody has the um, has access to, so it's going to make it a little easier for me. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to hook a fuel pressure gauge up to this, and I'm going to pulse the injectors with the scan tool to see if uh, the injectors are flowing. Um, another thing you can do is actually, but yeah, so keep watching the video here. We're going to go ahead and hook the fuel gauge up to this thing. We're going to pulse the injectors with the scan tool, see if they're flowing. But another quick check I'm going to make is I'm just going to go into engine data here. And uh, I'm going to go and actually go into fuel trim data and see if either bank is running rich or lean. Okay, so it looks like our fuel trims are all, you know, right around zero right now, which surprises me. But, um, yeah, we're up to operating temperature, so the twos are swapping. I mean, another thing you can do too is I haven't swapped the spark plugs yet. Um, I'll probably do that first too. So let's go ahead and uh, swap the spark plugs first, and I'll do the I'll hook the fuel fuel gauge up to it, and we'll pulse these injectors. Let's just make sure that uh, we are capable of pulsing the injectors here. I'm going to go into special functions. Let's see, special functions, fuel system. Yeah, fuel injector balance ensure if you line da, 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 yeah check fuel pressure gauge to fuel line da. each ejection will be full points okay yeah so we can go we can in activate these injectors here but um I think I'll pull this plug out first anyways and we'll take a look at that spark plug if the spark plug is wet chances are um, the injectors working and could just be a bad plug and I might try swapping those but I'll be right back Give me Okay, so here's a spark plug, and I'm didn't not really seeing a whole lot out of the ordinary. Let's see if we can get it to focus on that thing. Um, there was a little dampness to it. Come on. All right, there we go. And there was a little dampness to it, but definitely not um, not soaking wet like you would suspect if this thing was misfiring and spraying fuel in there. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and swap the plugs and see what that does. All right, we uh, got that spark plug swapped to the cylinder six, as you can see, which was right next to eight. And um, sure enough, now it is showing cylinder six misfiring. So looks like in this case we just had a bad, uh, just had a bad spark plug. So as far as the fuel injector test, um, I'll probably save that for another video, seeing how um, obviously this one's working. So yeah, just a uh, pretty easy test. Just swap the ignition coils and the spark plugs um, to see which cylinder is misfiring and if you don't have a scan tool you can actually still do this test just um, so if you got a cylinder 8 misfire here uh, you'll be able to unplug this ignition you'll be able to un un unplug the fuel injector and it's not going to affect the way the motor is running because this cylinder is already misfiring so you can go ahead and swap the 8 with the 6 and um, then basically you can um, unplug, you can unplug these, uh, if that coil's bad, 